So that really is my final question for you is, in terms of using LinkedIn for job search, we know that once a resume is submitted, if a recruiter likes what they're reading, they will check the candidates on LinkedIn. They will check their bio, their banner, their about section, recommendation. So in your opinion, is it important to have a good LinkedIn profile? And do you think that here in Canada or, you know, it's different use than in Asia and Singapore? Actually, I, I think LinkedIn has done a very good job uh, globally of, of uh, giving similar tips. And and the, the algorithms that recruiters use uh, with LinkedIn are the same globally. So I, my, I would venture to say I'm, I'm not an expert in Canada. I, I don't pretend to be, but uh, I, I would assume that um, the the algorithms work exactly the same. So so here is again what I always advise people looking for jobs. Uh, it, it is actually more important to have a good LinkedIn profile than it is to have a good resume. Mm. Because even if your resume is good, they are going to go through the LinkedIn profile yeah. and it, they will make up their mind on their LinkedIn profile. Most recruiters actually don't ever look at a resume. This is an important thing that most people should know. Most resumes are read by machines. Or the recruiters will use LinkedIn's algorithms to go through LinkedIn profiles to pick out relevant people. Yeah. So it is quite important that you have at least three things in your LinkedIn profile. One, a very good professional picture. Yes. You must portray the image that you want recruiters to have of you. Think of it of... How would you go dressed up to an interview where you have to look professional? Yes. That's the photo you want in your LinkedIn profile. Your banner, use it. That's useful real estate. Because when the LinkedIn profile comes up, that's what you see. In my own LinkedIn profile, I have a very good picture taken by a professional photographer. But in my banner, I have an action picture. Why? Because I don't just want to be hired as a, say, board director, I also want to be hired as a speaker and professor. So yeah. I wanted a state picture and a action picture. Yeah. Second, yeah. keywords. Yeah. The immediate things right below your picture are the words that the algorithm is going to pick out. So use them as labels. Don't spend the time to say, oh, I work in this company and this is my yeah. title. That's going to show up later in your LinkedIn yeah. profile. Right here, you must portray your skills your competencies, because that's what recruiters are looking for. So use keywords. And the third thing you must have that's really important is your about section. Yeah, That's yeah. your elevator pitch mm -hmm. that you want recruiters to see. And it's super important. If you go to your LinkedIn profile on your phone, you will see that in the about section, you, you can only see oh, like three lines. Yes? Yeah. Yeah. And then you have to click on, the, on where it says more. more. Yeah. Those two lines have to be so compelling that the recruiter wants to click on more to read the rest. Yeah. So don't start with, oh, I am an avid uh, lover of whatever it is, because that's not what's going to get their attention. Their attention is going to come in from 16 years of experience doing this, because that's what they're really looking for. Yeah. So three key things that I just want to leave with your uh, listeners that every um, LinkedIn profile must have. Yeah. I, I cannot tell you how many people I have coached and they think LinkedIn is social media. Mm -hmm. And they have pictures, you know, with food and then or having drinks in a bar. No, it cannot. It must be very professional. This is your public CV. Yeah. But thank you for those great tips. I tell the students or the clients I'm helping, as you mentioned, the banner, you can use Canva. You can change it constantly. You don't have to be the same the last three or four years. And again, if you have LinkedIn on your phone, you can also upload 30 second video, which tells more about you and your personality will show up. And again, in your about text, and as you mentioned, the first three lines are important. You can start with a quotation that's related to your major or something that you can bring to the table, which like curiosity mindset would be something that you can, again, recommendation and all the other parts is very important. And the video is a wonderful idea. I absolutely agree with you. Thank you for those great tips, Dr. Dear. And with that, my interview comes to with an end. I really enjoyed the conversation, very practical tips, and I hope the audience will implement some of them in their job search. Again, thank you, Dr. Diaz. And for the audience, 
tune in next time for other great guests I'm preparing for you guys. And let's keep in touch. Bye, everyone. Thank you.